In my practice, chronic fatigue is one of the most common symptoms that I see, and sometimes it's the most frustratingly persistent symptom that patients are dealing with. You know, we're getting you know, the headaches get better and go away, the digestive symptoms get better and go away, the pain issues get better and go away, um, so many things get better and go away, and yet fatigue is sometimes the one thing that just seems to hang on, you know, like, like nobody's business. And so um, one of the things that I um, have seen over the course of time is that sometimes the cause of that persisting fatigue is heavy metal accumulation in the body. And um, that's a, a bit of a it, it's a bit of a drag because heavy metals can sometimes take quite a while to uh, get down to a low enough level where it makes a significant clinical improvement, um, especially if the levels are quite high to begin with. Sometimes it can take months to get the levels down. And with heavy metal removal, what I've seen in my practice is if patients have you know moderately or you know severely high levels of metals, then sometimes it isn't until we get the levels down quite a bit before the patient starts feeling better. A lot of other therapies, you know, we get going on the right herbal tinctures or we get the right IVs in place or the right mitochondrial support supplements in place. And within the span of, you know, maybe a couple of weeks, patients will start noticing clinical improvements from that. Uh, with heavy metal removal, sometimes it isn't until we've got, you know, a good 75% of the metals cleared out that the patient starts feeling better. So it's a little bit of an anticlimactic therapy in, in a sense in that it's takes a bit of time to get the levels down, but once they do come down in many cases, the symptoms start to improve. Um, I had a follow-up with a patient recently and it was, you know, yet, yet another case, not that there's been hundreds of them that I've seen, but um, I've had probably a, maybe two dozen cases or so, give or take, where we had done everything, like everything that I could reasonably think of. And I'm, I'm a fairly thorough clinician, if I, if I do say so myself, and we had done everything except addressed heavy metals, found elevated heavy metals in this patient probably three or four months ago. Uh, so we had a follow-up visit and sure enough, you know, first uh, follow-up, you know, a couple months into the protocol, wasn't really seeing much of a change. You know, they were just you had really high levels to begin with. There's a lot of lead there, hang in there, um, gave it another month and a half and then energy levels picking up, feeling a lot better. The patient had some residual pain issues too. Those are doing a lot better. So, you know, really excited. I'm excited, the patient's excited. It's like, finally, you know, we're, we seem to have turned the corner around at the bend on this, on this, you know, persistent challenging case where we had done, again, everything. We had worked on histamine issues, gut issues, um, chronic infections, mold, toxicity, you know, patient was doing, you know, mind body work, like amygdala retraining, like just, we, we had really left, you know, just on comprehensive mitochondria sport, like just left nose down turn. We've done lots of low dose immunotherapy, all the different things that I love talking about and that I use in practice. Um, but it just, we got to the heavy metal side of things almost as sort of a last, as a last ditch effort in a sense. In my mind, it was on the, the, um, uh, sort of over, order of operations list to work through or to, to investigate. The patient was just a bit hesitant to do. She's like, ah, I can't, can't imagine that I have elevated metals. Let's, let's work on all the other stuff first, but turns out you know, significantly high levels. So um, if uh, patients are dealing with chronic fatigue or, or other chronic symptoms that just, you know, aren't going away despite, you know, doing quote unquote everything else, sometimes it is a heavy metal related thing. Heavy metals are incredibly toxic to the mitochondria, so they interfere with energy pathways or energy production pathways. Therefore, they interfere with everything because every cell in the body needs energy in order to function properly. And heavy metals also specifically deplete antioxidant levels, and that has a lot of negative impacts too. So long and short of it is um, if it's something that hasn't been fully addressed with a patient who's suffering with persisting symptoms, it's something that's definitely on my list to check out, even if their day-to-day -day life doesn't, hasn't put them into contact with elevated heavy metals more than the average person, um, they can still bioaccumulate them, especially if they've had a history of some chronic health challenges. So I hope this information was useful. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, please post them in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribing to my newsletter, um, please consider doing so. Um, there's a link to do that in my link tree if you're watching on my bio, if you're watching this on Instagram, and if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, then there is a link below in the comment section. And uh, please feel free to join that newsletter. I send out a newsletter pretty much every week. I, I do my best um, and uh, just talk about some of the things that are happening in my practice, different initiatives that are going on, um, Q&A sessions that I'm offering those, things like that. So um, please feel free to join that newsletter if you would like to have access to that information. I will leave it there for now.